Okay, so I have a little update regarding the casting call. There were some things that I didn't make clear and some people didn't understand how to make and or send in their audition files and there was something that I forgot to mention the original casting call. I'll be going over that real quick and stay tuned to the end of the video for a file tutorial. Those of you who have been here for the past few months or longer know that I had auditioned first for Screwball and Apple Blossom in Daughter of Discord and then Fluttershy and Pinky. With Screwy and Blossom, I rushed and the files ended up being crap. I wanted to redo my audition, but I didn't know if it was allowed. With Fluttershy and Pinky, I took my time and practice before I sent in the file. Even though I didn't get the part, I was at peace with myself more than I had been with the first audition because I knew that I had done the best that I could. If at any time during this process you want to redo your audition, be it because you've perfected the voice or came up with one that you like better or just because you weren't happy with the original, go for it. Just put the word redo behind the character name and I'll delete your original file. Now, I want to give you guys some tips for a good audition. First off, don't rush. Take time to come up with and perfect voices. Second, find a really quiet room. Background noise is really distracting. Want a homemade recording studio? Sit in the closet and shut the door. The clothes in the closet and the closed door will muffle the outside noise and amplify your speaking. If you're like me and don't have enough room in your closet to sit in, just do the best that you can. Third, don't send your first take. Listen to the file and figure out where you can improve it. You hear your voice differently than others do, but you can usually hear how your voice really sounds over a recording. Listen to the take and work out how to change the way that you say it so that it's heard the way you want it to sound. Also, make sure that you're calm. You know, go to your happy place, drink a glass of warm milk, do whatever it takes for you to relax. It's easy to tell if someone is nervous over recording. Your voice will shake or crack or you may yell where it's unnecessary to. Now that that's out of the way, let's get on to the tutorial. Okay guys, so I'm here with the tutorial and unfortunately I'm having to record this with Bandicam because Fraps is broken and refuses to record full screen. So... Yeah, if, if any of you happen to know how to, fa how, to, how to fax that, how to fix that, please let me know in the comments below. I, I would really need to know that. So I'm going to demonstrate using Audacity because that's the program that I recommended in the original casting call. So also I'm going to be using uh, Ladybug as an example for this because I can already tell from the people who have already auditioned, and, and thank you guys for going ahead and sending in your auditions. I, w I was really surprised about that. I thought it was going to be a while. But, um, also, uh, from what people, okay, so from people who have auditioned already and people who have said that they are going to audition, a lot of people want to audition for Ladybug, so she's pretty much the favorite, so I'm going to use her as an example, but it's the same thing with every character, same process, just... Uh, just using this character for an example and also something else that I've noticed a lot of people running into with um, uh, Auditions um, is uh, Laptop fans it has like a little whirring noise So uh, I have a gaming laptop now, so I don't have that problem as much my, my recording is a lot smoother but to simulate that, and because I'm going to show you guys how to fix that, um, to simulate that, I have a little laptop fan. Yeah. So a lot of people are running into problems with that with their actual laptops. So I'm just going to be helping with that. So let's turn that off because that's annoying until I start. Also, um, this is uh, going to... I'm, this is going to be really quick because with this I have a 10 minute time limit. So first things first, you want to pull up the um, thing, you know, like the blog post and you want to scroll through and find a character. In this case, we're using Ladybug, as I mentioned in an example. So you go ahead and see that the role is, she is a major role, meaning that she's going to be, okay, major roles will be in almost or every episode. So almost every episode or every episode. So, um, and the minor characters show up once or twice. So, um, make sure that if you're auditioning for a character with a major role, make sure that you were actually going to be able to stay consistent with the part. Otherwise, I, I don't know. Just like if some like if you get the part and then something happens and you can't do it, that's fine. But 
please don't audition for a major character and just in case like if you think that you're not going to be able to be consistent i would recommend auditioning for a minor character so then you want to read through the character description because um you want to read their personality you know find out what they're like what makes them tick stuff like that because you can tell a lot about a character by their voice so read that so she's girly and flirty but she hot but like she that's really a facade and she hides her intelligence so you kind of want to go off that and sorry if there's like echoing because i have two guitars up on the wall and i've noticed recently that when i talk louder uh the sound kind of revertebrates in it is that a word revertebrates i have no idea anyway so let's go ahead and start and please put every line in the file and the song in the file it's just harder for me if you split everything up or if you don't send the song with the original file um yeah so and you can send more than one file in an email that's not what i meant by one file at a time i meant like don't have a file like don't finish up recording for one character and then without even stopping the recording go ahead and go into another character no have two files but you can send or have multiple files for like have a file per character i can't read i can't even speak so have a file per character but you can send them all in one email i would actually recommend that that's a lot easier for me because i don't have to be like okay when, when is this one coming because i i kind of need everything as quick as possible Okay, well, not as quick as possible, but it's it's easier for me. Just go with that. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on the fan. And I'm not actually going to um, come up with a voice. I'm just going to use my normal voice. And uh, also pay attention to the emotional, um, or to the emotion directions. So, like, the first line is annoyed. The second is flirty. And the third is dreamly. So, like, if there's... A line in an audition that says say it happy don't just have a neutral voice okay like say it really happy and really excited don't don't say it like this like yeah I'm so happy cuz that that's not believable unless like you're auditioning for a gothic character <laughs> but anyway so um here we go also you want to leave a little um space before you start Recordings so like right here, or you'll, you'll you'll see what I mean. Just fine, but I could do wonders with your color. Uh, okay, I'm gonna restart that because it's not picking up the fan. I'm gonna hold it closer to the mic. Fine, but I could do wonders with your color. My mother is a queen, which makes me a princess, or all the delicious love. So I got some mischief in my blood. Can you blame me? I never got no love. Okay. So I'm going to turn that off because that's annoying. So as you'll see right here, there's little bumps here. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Or wait, no, that didn't work. <laughs> um, but you, you can see right there, there's like little bumps, I guess you could call it. Um, and that's audio noise. So let's go ahead and listen back to our um, recording. Fine, but I could do wonders with your color. My mother is a queen, which makes me a princess. Or all the delicious love. So I got some mischief in my blood. Can you blame me? I never got no love. Okay, so I'm going to restart the recording because we've already used seven minutes of our uh, ten minutes. Okay, we are immediately back. So... What you want to do is you want to come over to the beginning of the recording. And first things first, you want to select this. Because this is just white noise. So then come over to effect. And click on it. And then scroll down to noise reduction. And click that. And click get noise profile. Okay. So that's copied the, the noise right here. So then click here. And it will select the entire thing. So then come back here. Click effect and repeat noise reduction. It gives it a second and you'll see it's removed everything. So let's go ahead. Fine, but I could do wonders with your color. So it's still there, but it's a lot less than it was before. 
which makes for better audio. So go ahead and you can unselect everything. Well, go ahead and click here and go there and then click cut and do the same thing for any little awkward pauses. Like don't, don't like cut out the whole thing. Cause that just sounds like you're doing everything in one breath and that, that makes it harder to cut later. So then go ahead and just remove any little pauses that are too long. but make sure there is little space in between. So then go ahead and play back. Fine, but I could do wonders with your color. My mother is a queen, which makes me a princess. Or all the delicious love. So I got some mischief in my blood. Yeah, Can you blame me? Currently. I never got no love. Also do the same thing back here. And yeah. So then what you wanna do is you wanna click here again. You wanna click effect. And you want to go to normalize and you just leave it default and click like that and that's going to help with the audio and then also equalization i think and then just go ahead and click that okay no that didn't do anything um okay don't do that <laughs> it, it really doesn't matter honestly i don't remember what the setting was but this should be good enough fine but i could do wonders with your color my mother is a queen, which makes me a princess. So you can still hear the whirring, but to a lot less of an extent as before. So, um, yeah, so all you have to do is export. So come over here to file and click export. And this is where a lot of people were having trouble. People were just leaving it on audacity or just naming it with the line. And then naming the email on um, the way it's supposed to be. So no, you want to name the actual file. And the way you do that is just where it says file name, go to MLD, and you can see I recorded casting call audio, underscore ladybug, underscore, then the name you want to be credited as, we're going to just do user 546, and save. And then, okay. And it will export. So then you will have the file in your computer and then you can just email it like that so one more thing um there's someone who sent in the, an audition where it, it was just every line was a separate file and let, let me find your name uh joe's quack uh if you're watching this can you please redo your audition because it makes it harder to save the file if it's all separate because then I have to go in and put it all together. So yeah. Um also real quick while I'm thinking about it, let me um find that last line of ladybugs and then I'm going to show you guys how to do the changeling sound effect if you want to try that. Okay, you know what? Forget trying to find it. It'll just be easier to record the the new line. So let's go ahead and click record and then say it. Or all the delicious love. So I don't have the worrying right now, so I don't need to do the uh, normalized thing. So, um, and this would be in a separate file, okay? Don't, don't save it. Like, don't do this with the original. Uh, unless you're, like, don't do this with the whole file unless you are auditioning for Chrysalis or Larva because they're the only ones who will always have the effect. Um, but that last line that I had for Ladybug is the only one that will be said by Ladybug as of now in her actual changeling form. So then you wanna come over here to effect. Well, actually, no, no you don't. You want to come here, make sure everything is selected and hit right here, or not there, here. It says copy, so copy, then come down here, hit paste, here again, and paste. So now we have three tracks. So you wanna come up here to the second track. You wanna hit effect, um, change pitch right here, click change pitch. And then come over here to negative four. Hit okay. Oh, wait. Yeah, yeah, okay. And then down here, you want to come here and hit effect and hit change pitch, negative eight. And then you want to come to the second track again and you want to hit effect and then go to echo. And so, Delay time 0.1, decay factor 0.2, and okay. 
and then hit play. Or all the delicious love. It, it, isn't that just really cool? That I, I find that really cool. So, yeah. Um, and then also when you're done, go ahead and do this and select all of them. And then come over to Tracks, Mix and Render, and it'll mix everything into one track. So it's still the same thing. Or all the delicious love. So yeah, I, I love that effect. That's so cool. But uh, yeah, it's pretty much it on the update. Uh, yeah, nerds out.